Hi, Thomas. Hey, David. Hey, have you seen? Cloud adoption is off the charts. Every industry is doing a cloud shift. You see 70 to 80% adoption in analyst reports. Not surprising though, I think companies, they really like the scale, the flexibility to, to refactor their operations, and the freedom to experiment. But Thomas, why does Talon believe so much in cloud? Why should Talon's customers be excited about what Talon are doing? We see all innovations happening in the cloud. It's all cloud, public cloud, multi-cloud, private cloud, no matter where you are, uh, data processing throughout the data journey from collecting, governing, transforming to sharing the data is just so much better done in a cloud environment because it's just opening up endless possibilities. And therefore, we truly believe also our flagship product, Talent Data Fabric, needs to be a cloud product. Now, if we dream and imagine what's actually possible, this is all about, hey, could we not make sure our products are coming to market much faster? Could we not dream and just say, why are we not more productive and in turn more profitable as a company? Why don't we you know, no longer worry about the accuracy of my data to make a decision based on it? Last but not least, why don't we just dream about uh, data fixing itself, right? Yeah, well, that explains it. It is amazing how Talon's cloud platform has evolved. Now the users can dream and imagine plenty of use cases, always cloud native and worldwide. It's not surprising then that we announced publicly last year, the majority of new Talon customers choose Talon platform as a service. Quite right. And, and you know, David, it's not just new customers, it's all our existing customers as well that use our product and uh, move with us to cloud. You can do a lot with a self-managed Talon platform. How is Talon's cloud platform different from Talon on-prem? And what are the benefits really of using the Talon platform as a service? Well, this one for me is very much rooted in the core benefits you're getting from a cloud platform, which is really sort of scaling everything with cloud native technologies. It's about the ultimately lower cost of total ownership but it's also about the operational freedom it brings with you to scale up and scale down. But if you apply it to data, then what it really is all about is in our overall data journey from collecting to sharing the data, we're really looking at three main benefits. It's about being more agile. It's about making data and users work together better. And it's clearly about sharing your data in an optimized fashion. Now, let's look at the first one, uh, being more agile. If we think, if we're talking about being more agile, it's so much about how we enable you as a business to do analytics faster and uh, get results out of uh, your analytical system um, in real time. It's all about automating and making sure that, let's say, your DevOps practices is also applied to data and uh, that you really sort of support not just your analytical, but also your operational systems and automate everything. So David, do we have a good example on this? Uh, an example, yeah, be, be more agile um, reminds me of Unos with Talent. They reduced from 18 hours to three hours the time to process and share new data about available organs. So they're being more agile and helping to save lives. Yeah, I love that example. Now let's uh, drill down into the second pillar, which is really about making data and users better together. Here, it's all about making sure you foster collaboration in all the departments. That means from using the line of business users all the way to everybody in IT that is a data worker. And the key here is about enabling collaboration through the platform in every part of the organization. So therefore, this enables you then to reduce the time that you spend on searching for data, preparing data, or you know, generally speaking, governing data. 
and you can actually go and focus on what is most important to you making the decision or the operation adjustment oh um, that's a little bit like domino's pizza imagine collecting data from 85,000 sources and helping all those Domino's outlets worldwide to improve the customer buying experience. Good example. Now let's look at the last one where we're really thinking through how you can actually optimize uh, your business value by sharing data uh, throughout. This is all about enabling you to go and create new revenue streams, starting with sharing any of the data information or insights you have created to start with within your organization to enable the rest of the business but also very much about enabling your business partners to really get all the benefits you're creating out of the company so therefore it's all about uh, speeding up the releases to market and sharing the insights that you just created so david what's a good example for this Example of share more data reminds me of AstraZeneca, the pharma giant. They analyze and share research data and that essentially allows them to innovate faster and they bring pharmaceutical products to market faster. Excellent example. So David, thanks for the conversation today. What else do you have to share with us? Well, thank you, Thomas. Um, I would say that if you're new to talent, even if your company's new to cloud, you can start with talent in the cloud. It's the talent platform as a service. And existing talent users, check out possible strategies to adopt talent in the cloud and just dream and imagine what you can do with these new innovations. <laughs>